There are new protests targeting Canada's rail network this morning, causing new disruptions, especially for commuters in the Toronto area. And there is potential for new confrontations between protesters and police. This video into us this morning showing the first freight train to pass the protest site in Tyandenega, Ontario in more than two weeks. But that breakthrough for CN's rail network brought this swift reaction. Protesters who remain camped out nearby put tires right in the middle of the tracks and set them on fire. So we begin there this morning with covering uh, ongoing of the story that we had mm -hmm. live as it unfolded yesterday, Michael, of course, as the police moved in. Michael Serapio tracking the developments. What's happening in Tyandenega this morning? Well, those protests do continue, as we saw with the burning tire images that uh, came to us after that first rail uh, went by. Uh, again, the protesters not leaving Tyandenega. Let's take a look again at what took place last night, because uh, as you can see, it is still happening right now, uh, that tire fire being a bit of an example there. And that's despite what we saw here yesterday, Heather, the moving in of Ontario Provincial Police as they cleared the area around the tracks. Now, when that happened, the protesters actually moved further south of the tracks and then further east, a second protest site also popped up. So demonstrators did not leave. Instead, the demonstration continued. It does continue this morning. We have to say, though, that police have erected a concrete barrier at either end of the road along the tracks, and that keeps the demonstrators away from the original protest site. But the protesters uh, themselves say they are not leaving. Bear in mind that they say that they, the Tyndanaga Mohawks never ceded this land over uh, to Canada. So they are not leaving, they say. This is a show of solidarity for the Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs. They will stay until the RCMP leave Wet'suwet'en. Take a listen to one protester we spoke to. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to stay here for as long as it takes for the RCMP to get out. It's time for Canada to know what it's like to be invaded but they're not even getting invaded. Now, 10 protesters were taken into custody yesterday. Uh, they've now been uh, released, essentially, how they're waiting for court dates here. They are facing charges, though. Uh, we will say that the demonstrators on their site, uh, they are putting out messages on social media, and mm -hmm. they are saying they're going strong, and they're not giving up. There is another group and another protest affecting things in the greater Toronto area. This is a little bit to the west, uh, down near Hamilton Way uh, yeah. this morning. What's happening there to commuter traffic? Uh, yeah, the huge commuter traffic, because we're talking about uh, Go Rail Line, uh, the Lakeshore West Line, which is the regional uh, transit in the GTHA. Now, demonstrators who identify themselves uh, on Facebook as Wet'suwet'en Strong, Hamilton in Solidarity, well, they moved in yesterday in the early evening on a portion of CN Rail Yard. Uh, this is near the tracks that's used by the regional rail. A couple of dozen of protesters saying this is in response to what happened in Tyndadega, also saying that they are supporting the Wet'suwet'en. Protesters were issued an injunction, we have to tell you, by police around 10 o'clock last night. But according to the protesters on their Facebook page, they burned it. As a result, there is no service this morning along the Lakeshore West Line from Niagara Falls to a station known as Aldershot, and that's in Burlington, Ontario. Instead, shuttle buses will operate from Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, Hamilton, uh, West Harbour. All of them uh, will be taken to Burlington, so everyone else on the train is going to feel a squeeze as they make their way into the Toronto area. But as I mentioned, all those communities, all those cities, Heather, it gives you an idea of just uh, how uh, difficult it's going to be in terms of a morning commute. Uh, we have to say that Hamilton Police, CN Security, as well Metrolinks, the uh, agency behind uh, GO, they're monitoring all this. In fact, at this moment in time, we're setting up an interview with GO. We're going to get the latest, and we'll share that with you a little later in the, in the next hour. The there next is no hour. word on how long this protest is expected to last, so no. this could be a disruption for some time to come. Michael, thank you very You're much. Welcome.